In other news tonight, authorities are still searching for the body of a missing woman last seen swimming with friends near the deepest part of Lake Mendota. News 3's Mark Lovacott has the latest on the search for the 30-year-old woman. The furthest point is here. This is where we found the boat. About a mile offshore on Lake Mendota, a group of people is working to bring a family some closure. It's one of the deepest parts of the Mendota. Just inside that off of Governor's Island is the deepest part. Jeff Nelson and his dive team are combing the deep waters of Lake Mendota near Governor's Island. It's the deepest part of the lake, and it's the last place Sarah Carpenter was seen late yesterday afternoon. Somebody had um, gone into the water, and uh, the boaters that were with this person weren't able to locate that that person and um, our marine and trail deputies immediately responded. Because the water is so deep, 80 feet in some places, divers are relying on sonar to point them in the right direction. It's literally like trying to find a needle in a haystack. With this equipment, unless you've got some pretty high-tech equipment, it's, and we're, we're getting that, but it's just a matter of time to, to get the equipment. A federal grant is bringing in $35,000 worth of new search equipment soon. Until then, Nelson and his crew will do their best to at least try and bring some relief to a family that's hurting so much. And they're going to continue to work throughout the day, um, probably until about sunset tonight. Uh, it's a very difficult area to search, um, and they will, they will continue doing that throughout the day today and first thing tomorrow morning. Mark Lovacott, WISC News 3.